Hey guys, welcome back. It's Claytano. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. And today we're going to be talking about the top five dark natural five star monsters for arena offense. Uh, now, this list was super fun to make because there was a lot of options. So let's just get right into it here and not waste too much time in the intro. But at number five, we have the dark pioneer Wunsa, who just recently got a super nice buff and is really, 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 really viable on arena offense as an AoE buff stripper. Okay, so you have his third skill here, which steals the HP of all enemies by 15% of your max HP and steals all beneficial effects on all enemies. So, the damage you do is based on your max HP. And look at his max HP, it's ridiculous. So not only are you removing all the buffs off the other team, but you're also dealing massive amounts of damage. And just in case you took some damage along the way, you're gonna be recovering your HP back up, okay? So steals the HP, steals, meaning it steals and recovers yourself. So kind of like Eludia from the top five uh, light natural five star monsters for arena offense, Moonsa does the same thing, does damage, plus it removes the buffs. However, I believe Wunsa is much better in this uh, specific part of your arena offense where you're going to be using Wunsa, remove the buffs, deal damage, then have Galleon come behind him, then your two other nukes or whatever you, whatever your combination of those is going to be. Um, the speed as well is ridiculous. So the fact that he has so much speed gives you the ability to use HP slot 2 to just go Full on HP, 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 and max out the max out the HP as much as possible. So really, really, really nice monster. Um, his second skill attacks the enemy two times, with each attack having a 75% chance to remove a beneficial effect of the enemy and 75% chance to block the enemy. Okay, so it's basically the Chi Wu and the Pung Bake second skill. And this is good for countering Theomars, it's good for countering uh, arenas so if you're trying to cleave arena team and you have a wound saw this works perfectly because you could just drop your second skill down and then she's not going to proc that annoying shield that she has uh, and then at first skill it does so much better with wound says skill set because it deals damage based on your max hp so if you have it built hp crit damage hp you're going to be doing not only damage on your third skill recovering yourself but you're also going to do that much more damage on your first skill so Super excited about Wunsai. He's just a really overall great monster, and I'm glad that that Com to us gave him that buff there with his third skill. So really nice. Um, moving on though to number four, we have the Dark Panda. Okay, now the reason why the Dark Panda is on here, you can obviously see his base speed is ridiculous. His HP is really nice for an attack monster, but he has okay. Not only does he have this leader skill for Guild Wars, that doesn't really make any difference for Arena Offense. This is what you're, which is what we're which is what we're focusing on. Um, and then we have his third skill. <laughs> it attacks all enemies, decreasing their attack power for two turns and casts a shield on yourself, equivalent to 20% of the damage inflicted for three turns. So the more damage you do, the more you're shielding yourself. It, it reminds me of Tosi's third skill or any of the Samurai's third skill where they do damage and then when that, that big fourth skill comes up, they shield themselves even more, but this shield has potential to be even more shielding. And then the fact that it reduces the attack power of all the enemies while you do that as well means that they're gonna do, they're, they're gonna have a hard time killing your nuke or monsters, which is amazing. Okay, and then the second skill, Calm Mind, it's the same one as the Fire Panda, removes all the harmful effects, cast it on yourself, counterattacks and then also recovers the 15% HP of all allies for each turn for the next two turns. So 30% heal there. It's really nice if you're running a cleave AO with like Galleon, two other Nukers, and Mi Yang all on will. Some shield there as well. And then you have a defense break on your slot one. So when you revenge from your uh, turn two, your turn one, I, I keep saying turn and slots and whatever. You guys understand though, it's skill two. After you revenge from your skill two, you're gonna revenge and defense break and set somebody up on your next turn even that much more okay moving on to number three we have Trinity okay Trinity is is a really 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 awesome monster for arena offense I actually had the pleasure of using someone's account who had a Trinity on it it was so much fun the reason why is because you could have Trinity you could have Tiana you could have Galleon and you could have 
like another Nuger like Xeros or uh, really anything, even uh, another light dark monster like Mi Ying, uh, and just deal massive amounts of damage, not have to worry about any uh, any will runes, you don't have to worry about speed really because you have a nice awesome 33% leader skill. You have crazy amounts of HP, um, but you really want to build it with as much damage runes as possible. So attack for damage, attack, utilize that speed leader skill, and then the third skill is what what's you're going to use first here. This is your final battle begins, both allies and enemies lose 15% of their HP and the enemies receive massive additional damage. So, okay, yes, you kill yourself a little bit, but at the same time you're doing more damage to the other team, which is a great AoE skill. Uh, and then he has a second skill, attacks the enemy and recovers HP by 30% of the inflicted damage, and you become invincible for one turn if the enemy is killed. Is it the greatest second skill of all the uh, Valkyries? No, I think it'd be nicer if it had Vanessa's second skill. Um, but either way, this is cool because you're just recovering your HP by the inflicted damage. And then, turn one, it, you, you understand, just whenever it dies, then you proc this skill. So really, not too crazy on the first and second skill, but really what you're looking at Trinity for is using her leader skill and her third skill, along with two other nukes. It's amazing, okay? Uh, now going forward from Trinity, I'm sure you guys expected this, this wonderful, wonderful monster to be on here, and that's Gianna. Gianna's amazing because not only does she strip the will off of the enemy monsters, but she also stuns them for anybody that she removed the beneficial effect off of. So if you have will on your defense, if you have a Chloe, if you have a Veladjul, if you have anything, if you have shield runes, Shield runes allow Gianna to just rip up your team because she's gonna stun you and then also First if there's one monster that doesn't have will runes, she's gonna first drop a bomb over there Then remove the will on the other monsters that have will Stun everybody Let the bomb explode and then she's gonna boost herself back up with the first skill So that way she can drop more bombs remove more buffs she has a leader skill here if you don't have Somebody like Trinity with a speed leader skill, you can always use Gianna, and then um, the speed is really nice, HP is nice, and the attack is decent as well. It's a little bit low for an attack monster, but it's still, she's still alright. Okay, that's the second best monster for arena offense. And then, I want you guys to take a look, because I feel like this monster is a little bit overshadowed, uh, sometimes a little forgotten, but Grogan. Grogan. Okay, this is the Dark Dragon. Such a cool looking monster. Uh, this is probably one of my dream monsters, to be honest with you. I would love to have a Grogan just for my playstyle. I am super YOLO and this fits my playstyle perfectly. Uh, I think I could speak for anybody saying that if they got a Grogan they'd be super happy about it. Uh, but the leader skill, not really what I'm worried about. It's the third skill. Okay, the third skill attacks all enemies with the power of darkness. This skill deals a hundred percent increased critical damage on critical hits. A hundred percent more. So if you have a hundred percent crit rate, you have a hundred percent crit damage. Basically, you have two hundred percent crit damage. And you're tripling your normal damage because you have that crit damage basically. Does that make sense? So if you have 200% crit damage, you basically have 300% crit damage. Do you guys kind of understand where I'm coming from and the massive amount of damage that you can do with this monster? Not only that, but the attack is nice. The attack is really nice. The HP is decent for an attack monster. And then it's a dark monster, so it's not gonna glance. It's just gonna one-shot your time. It's gonna one-shot your team. You can easily get a Grogan to do easily 50,000 damage. AoE, in arena, okay, maybe give or take some monsters if they're gonna be reducing the damage, etc. Maybe somebody has really, you know, tanky defense, but you can get this monster to do 50,000 damage, AoE, fairly, fairly easily. Um, now, if you have a Grogan, I would love for you to comment below. Let me know the 
highest damage that you've gotten off of a Grogan because it just... I love this monster. This is one of my favorite monsters. I really wish I had one. Uh, but then second off, he has another AoE damage dealing skill. Summons a Storm of Darkness to attack all enemies four times. Each attack has a 5% chance to stun the enemy. I, this skill, are you kidding me with this skill? You're not only just dishing out powerful damage, you also have a CC aspect to you as well. You're stunning the enemy, okay? Is the stun rate very high? No, but you're hitting them four times. So people like Molly that are gonna, you know, potentially counter your third skill, you have another option to to go with the AoE damage dealing skill that's going to, that's gonna hit four times and you're gonna have less of a chance to get screwed over by a Molly. And then the first skill shoots a dark arrow at the enemy. He doesn't even need anything on that first skill, to be honest, because these two skills are plenty enough to make him the number one dark arena offense monster that's a natural five-star monster. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. As always, leave a like and comment below of what you guys think about the list. I do videos about these all the time. The next one I'm going to do, though, is probably going to be arena defense, and then we'll move on from there. As always, stay soupy, don't be potatoes, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.